हेलो बच्चा पार्टी हाउ आर यू ऑल वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज द सिक्स पार्ट ऑफ चैप्टर फाइव सेपरेशन ऑफ द सब्सटेंसेस इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अबाउट इवेपोरेशन प्रोसेस एंड कंडेंसेशन आई होप यू हैव वॉच दैट वीडियो इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो प्लीज गो एंड चेक दैट वीडियो एंड डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल ओके बच्चा बाटी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट यूज ऑफ मोर देन वन मेथड ऑफ सेपरेशन एंड द लास्ट टॉपिक सेचुरेटेड सॉल्यूशन ओके ओके बच्चा वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट डिफरेंट मेथड ऑफ सेपरेशन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम हैंड पिकिंग थ्रेशिंग विनोइंग सीविंग इन लास्ट पार्ट वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट इवेपोरेशन कंडेंसेशन ऑल दिस मेथड आर समाइम नॉट सफिशियंट टू सेपरेट द सब्सटेंसेस ओके so what to do in such scenario when one method is not sufficient we use more than one method to separate substance from the mixture okay when one method is not sufficient we use more than one method to separate substance is it clear very good now the last topic of the chapter is saturated solution for that in chapter 4 we have studied about soluble and insoluble substances okay when the substance get dissolved in water completely that substance is known as soluble substances okay so what happened when we kept on adding that substances in water okay if we take a example of glass with water and if i add salt to it and i kept on adding salt what will happen after some time okay in starting the two or three spoon of salt get dissolved that is that two three spoon of salt is soluble in that particular glass of water but after adding two or three spoon if i add more salt in that particular glass of water after some limit that salt does not start to dissolve okay that particular salt does not start to dissolve after some quantity of salt already in that water this means that no more salt can dissolve in that particular water that we have taken earlier so such a solution now known as saturated solution in other word we can say that a solution is said to be saturated if it cannot dissolve more amount of substances okay as we have taken example of glass of water and salt we have added two or three spoon of salt and that two or three spoon of salt get dissolved in it but after two three spoon if i try to add more salt into it that particular salt does not dissolved in that water so such type of solution is known as saturated solution okay let's see again what is saturated solution in simple word if a solution does not allow to dissolve substance in it in simple word we can say that a saturated solution is the one solution which does not allow to dissolve more of the substance in it okay and the last concept is about heating when we heat the substances in a liquid or solution or in a water that substance dissolve easily in previous example as we have seen if we add more salt to a water then after particular time or after certain limit that salt does not dissolve but if you want to dissolve that salt you can simply heat that particular water with salt so you can see that that particular salt start to dissolve in a water so from this activity we can say that a large quantity of salt dissolve in a water on heating okay bachcha buddy with this we have completed our fifth chapter separation of substances in which we have studied different method of separation to separate a substance from mixture
Out of this method, many of this method are used in laboratories. We have also seen how to create a solution by dissolving a substance. And finally, we have learned about saturated solution and what will happen when we heat that particular solution. Okay, I hope you have watched all the parts of chapter 5 and if you haven't, then please go and re-watch the video. If still anyone has any doubt, please comment down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Okay, we will meet in the next chapter. Bye-bye.